Welcome to our channel. Welcome to Thankfully True. This is a day in our homeschooling life. Action. No two days are the same. On this particular morning, the children started off with some games, cards, chess, whilst listening to a recording of their latest Swahili lesson. You okay? Yeah. This is Hezekiah. Yeah. He's one. He decided to make a start on the salad and peel the onion. He was even kind enough to make sure that the peel that fell on the floor was popped inside the bin. Thank you, Hezekiah. You're welcome. Niall, why did you do that? <laughs> I said, go that side. <laughs> you didn't listen? Yes, I did. But you didn't go that side? Yes, I did. <laughs> well, then why did you get the queen? <laughs> That's the only thing that I don't understand. Why you did you do that? Hi, so I got dressed. Um, <laughs> yeah, sometimes in the morning, if the bathroom's been hogged, I don't get dressed till after breakfast, so it depends really. Today was one of those days where I was a bit slow. We're getting ready, but I'm ready now. Would you like to see a belly bump? 24 week, six month bump. Mark's out at work and the children are doing, are playing chess and card games. A lot of the time we just let them flow and see what they want to do or what they desire to do. And then we facilitate the learning off that. So obviously chess is very good, cards are very good. And within that, we can do maths, we can do English, and we could even incorporate science if we think hard enough. So, um, yeah, that lifestyle of learning approach is always ongoing. Um, there's never a day off or a moment off from that. But one thing I wanted to uh, mention, actually, is that I was watching a video. Shout out to you, Ellen Fisher. Um, we love watching well myself in particular I, was, I usually watch them on my own to be honest so it's usually quite late at night and so I was watching Ellen Fisher last night and she made a point of addressing the fact that some of her viewers feel that they compare themselves to her and see themselves as not as good as she is and it made me think and I thought wow you know people that share positive content on whether it's YouTube or Instagram, um, social media on a whole is a highlight reel. Um, our subscribers that view these videos that think that we're in any way perfect <laughs> as a family because we are not. We are just like yourselves. We have highlights and we have some lowlights. And during those low lights, the last thing you're thinking of is pick up the camera and film this, hey? And I wouldn't also film, you know, tantrums and wobblies and things like that because I don't think that's really fair on the children to show that, um, especially if they don't feel good in that moment. I wouldn't like to be filmed whilst I'm not feeling good. The reason why we document these videos is to not only show and show others and inspire others, but it's to have a documentation, a video collection of our children's lives. So as they grow up, they can see and pinpoint certain points in their life and relate that to a video. And so it's like having a video album, basically like a photo album of the highlights. Um, you know, we don't really take pictures of when we're, we're, we're sad and low and feeling not great, do we? So we kind of take pictures when we're feeling good, when we're feeling happy, when we dress well. So it's the same with video, really. It can get hectic at times, especially during times of illness or um, when there's unsettlement in the household. We do 
address things quickly because we home educate we are providing the energy to facilitate their learning so what are they learning from us what are they learning from us so that is so important to us so we are very careful in the way that we speak to each other the way that we treat each other respect each other not just in front of the children but to each other as well and for the growth and flourishing of our family we need to make sure that environment is as peaceful as possible but i just wanted to address that you know we all have our low moments too we all have our hard times we all have our struggles and challenges and that's life it's balance and life's not happening to us it's responding to us so when things aren't going great we need to look at why yeah let's get on with the rest of the day little gem is going for his sleep. Are you going to sleep? Yeah. What's in your mouth? Yeah. Take it out. Thank you. Come on. One, two, seven. Gosh, you is heavy. Okay. You have a good sleep, Hezekiah. Okay. You and you wake up. Hey, what's this? Tried to sneak a carrot to bed. You have it when you wake up, okay? Okay, lie down. Good boy. Like a bender. <laughs> so we'll see how long he sleeps for. He usually goes down quite easily to be honest sometimes you'll have a little protest but it's not very often he actually likes his sleep Hezekiah how long he sleeps depends on how tired he is and what we've been doing throughout the course of the morning so we haven't had a walk or anything yet the day's a little bit gloomy outside I am one to not let the weather put me off doing stuff but as we were out yesterday we went for a lovely long walk with uh, Naomi, our friends, and her two children. So today I'm not, I don't feel as pressured to be out for the day. 
so as it looks like this if we needed to go out we'd still be going and make sure our clothing is appropriate but I still having said that I feel no pressure and I don't mind saying no sir not today it's not today so it can be cooked or it can be used as a salad cut it and we cook fry it? it today yeah do yeah. so we like make it into like a stir fry today yeah do you want to yeah yeah let's make it into like a stir fry do we have any like sauces or something well we could add some spices to it and yeah. apple cider vinegar yeah that's we add, um, we're having it with jacket potatoes it. and uh what's the other thing Tofu. So maybe we could have it as a, like a pan seared with a bit of butter. Yeah. 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 Okay. yeah. What's in there? So there's some thyme, there's some salt, and there's some spice mix, and there's turmeric in there. What does daddy do, Kenzie? He works. What does he work as? Um, weddings. Doing what? Taking pictures. What's that job title called? Working hard. He, he doesn't just sit there, he, he works, that's why he gets more clients. Okay, we'll. <laughs> oh no! What does Daddy do? Um, Daddy provides for the family and is a photographer. And he's self-employed. What the self-employed? Mm, he works at home. Mm. What's Daddy's um, website address? Um, MarkRobertsPhotography.com. Is it .co.uk or .com? It's .com, isn't it? .co.uk. Oh yeah. D okay, so um. Mark Roberts Photography. Dot co. Dot uk. You sure it's not Mr. Oh, Mr. Mark Roberts Photography. Mr. Roberts. Mr. Roberts Photography. Dot co. Dot uk. What's your favourite city that you've visited so far? Brighton. Brighton. No, 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 Brighton. 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 Definitely Brighton. Brighton. Why Brighton for you? Because of the seafront, and also I love the apartment that we stayed in too. Oh, I just wish it was our house, literally. Why do you? Why is your favourite one Manchester? Because the traffic centre. I love the traffic centre. It plays with loads of good plays with loads of shops, loads of restaurants, loads of bars, loads of soap shops, loads of loads of nappy shops, loads of sandwiches, <laughs> loads of Aldi. Then you'll go to the cafe tender. Roxy, what's yeah. this hypnobirthing? Hypnobirthing is when you have a birth and you set your mind to have positive thoughts and to have a happy and peaceful birth. So, uh, yes. What's a home birth? It's when you have your child at home. What's ten divided by two? Five. If you had ten onions and five families. How many onions would you give to each family? Um, okay. Two. 
How did you work that out? Because if there's five families, so if you had ten onions, five families, if once every family takes one, there's five left. So that if they take another one, then it's two. So ten divided by five is two. Uh, yes. Name a fruit or vegetable that you harvest in March. Feel free to check the chart. Cabbage, sweet, parsnips, leeks, Brussels sprout, purple, spring, broccoli. Rhubarb, kale, celeriac, radishes, spring greens, red cabbage, beetroot, spinach, potatoes, garlic, mushroom, salad leaves, onions, carrots, chard, spring greens, carrots, apples, pears, potatoes, spring onions, cabbage, cabbage. Um, Kenzie, what month are you born in? April. Name something you can harvest in April. This. This is April. Uh, so you can Name one of these that you can harvest in April. Purple broccoli. What is foraging? It's when you find vegetables and fruits and pick them in your local woods and forests. <laughs> What will you forage in the spring? In the woods? Wild garlic. Wild garlic. Cute. Cute. Turn it your way, turn it your way past on um, really high. It's where that dot is, it's where the dot is. Keep going, keep going. Wait until it matches that other dot. Stop there.
Okay, so we're at the end of the day now. It's everyone's tidied up. They're all ready for bed. Learning through games, darts, lots of maths through darts, Kenzie. He's doing some great addition. Uh, chess as well. And, and cards. And cards. What card games did you play? Um, black and blackjack engine. Pairs. And pairs. And you were playing with the cars as well? Yeah. And being quite inventive with that, weren't you? You were creating some really cool games with the cars. Um, we did some really nice colouring ready for our photo frame. We have a big photo frame that we want to fill with colouring. We like to display the children's artwork as artists. So we put them in frames and stuff or try and put them on canvas. But as you saw, they cooked a really delicious veg mix to go with dinner and that really helped because all I had to do today was put jacket potatoes in the oven and serve. That's all I had to do. They were really hands on, really helpful today guys. Thank you very much for that. You are welcome. Yeah, lots of lots of clearing up as well. And Roxin Tara, what did you do after dinner? Um we went out and put the heavy bags and stuff in the garage in the rain. And <laughs> also what we did to get them to the garage is we put them on Hezekiah's baby trolley. That was good thinking. So the and things weren't as heavy. Not all, all of them, just a suitcase. Just a suitcase? Yeah. Well, that was really good thinking. Very good on the spot thinking. So they thought about okay. how they were going to transport the stuff. And um, we do um, let the children have free flow to the garage. We'll do a separate video on that one day how we store the garage so that they can have access to their resources throughout the day. And it's something that we like them to do independently as well. So if I'm tied up or Mark's busy in the house, they can still have access to their things. We keep a small selection of toys in the house and they are swapped over. We call it the toy shop. And the garage is there as storage with all their toys in, all their jigsaws, games, everything. They go to the garage, they get a bag, and they do a bit of shopping. We had a visit from Lynn today. Thank you, Lynn, for the extra bags of material. Some really nice material in there. I can't wait to start using some of that. Um, Lynn yeah. gave yeah. us two sewing machines as well, didn't she, a few weeks back. Um, we will be having a video coming out soon about sewing club for the past six, seven weeks that we've been doing, and also the machines that were donated from us to us from those lovely kind people of Rubri and Frankly. We're really grateful, aren't we? And they've yeah. been, um, a lot of them have been passed on to other families within the sewing club and they're absolutely loving using them, finding them very useful. And yeah, so thank you, Lynn, again for the material. Thank, thank you, Lynn. Lynn. Thank, thank you, Lynn. Lynn. Oh, well done. So we're signing out. It's time for bed. Tomorrow's a new day. Go and rest your heads. So do you want to say? I'm not tired. You're never tired. You are never tired. You could just stay away all the time, couldn't you? Anyway, let's say bye and let's bye. say thank you for watching. Bye. Thank you for watching. How do you say thank you for watching in Swahili? Hmm. We'll have to find that one out. Well, how do we say thank you? How do you say thank you very much? Okay, let's say Asante Sana. Asante Sana. And let's say bye. Kwaheri. Kwaheri.